Kainukorn. So this is the Taurus Unicorn Asher reading for the month of October. One of my favorite times because of Halloween. So my channel is just about me wanting to share what's up with like spirituality, healing, magic, without it being so complicated and serious all the time. I feel like, you know, meditation and all this inner work, inner healing can also be fun. And I'd like to share with you a little bit about what's going on with the energies of the month and stuff. So this is the extended reading that I am filming for each sign. If you can watch all your signs that appears in your in your birth date, that would be really, really cool. So you have your sun sign, which is probably the sign that you know. There's your moon sign and your rising or ascending sign. If you don't know what all that means, you can Google it and you can also go to astro.com to input your birth information. Make sure you know um, the time that you were born into the natal chart section and that will pull up and you'll get all your signs. So before I start this magical reading, um, I want to let you know to make sure to subscribe to my channel and of course like my video. When you subscribe to my channel, you give me permission to connect with your energy and I'll be able to send you some sparkles in readings and future healings. So the more you interact with me, liking my videos, commenting, joining my Facebook group, or just like following my adventures, the more connected we will be energetically and the more your magic will awaken because everybody has magic in them. Everyone is magical. This is my gift. That is my gift. And um, that is what I found out in the records, the Akashic records, which I will be sharing a lot more later on. So let's start on your reading. For the Taurus Astro reading, I pulled a four card spread that Kim San at Fable's Den have helped me create. So I will be using a few different decks, but it will be a lot of fun. The first card is the energy of the month and mainly what will be going on for you in October. I have done this on the live on our Instagram group, so you might have heard it if you came from there. But if not, your card is the Ace of Pentacles. So a new idea, let's see, it's right here, your Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles means a new idea or a new creative project that will be appearing to you this month that will make you money. So make sure you are being aware that, you know, this gift, like this gift right here is being offered to you. Make sure that you are aware that it's actually happening to you. It's being sent from the universe. So grab onto the idea and start planning how you can turn your passion into a business. So definitely pay attention to that because I think that could be a lot, a lot of fun for you. All right, and the next, the second card that I in the position is the challenges that you will be facing this month or what might be blocking you. So you have, so I pulled a reversed seven of cups card for this. I don't know if you can see it because my video is kind of bright. There you go, reverse seven of cups. So you see all these ideas, all these cups. So there's so many ideas. You're getting so many messages from the universe, which is awesome. But don't keep it in your head. Like get it out on paper. Do something about it. So if you are a Taurus in any of your signs right now, I want you to write in the comment one inspiration or created idea that you have in your mind that you are getting and what you're going to do about it. Like what action are you going to take to bring one of these amazing ideas into life, right? Because that is what you should be working on this month. Of course, if it's hard for you to manifest things right now, um, if you aren't connected to the physical world, since it's literally all in your head to help you, you can create a spell that's hyper-focused on your intention to bring them into the physical realm, or maybe just really write it out. When I write things out, it gets things out of my head and I can see it and we're like bringing it into reality. 
So remember thoughts and feelings and actions are also part of the ingredients, right? So make sure you feel like it's coming true and that you feel happy doing it. If you do need help building a spell, because I know that not all of you work with spells and stuff, you can go ahead and make sure um, you know what the intention that you want before you email me though, email me and we can maybe do a spell creation session, which means that I will help you or I can create a spell for you to bring your intention into the world. That would be a lot of fun, right? So the next card that I pulled is what magical unicorn power you have already because we have all the magic that we need and how you can channel this power this month to help you feel confident and powerful. So your magical unicorn power this month is seduction. This card is from the magic and manifestation affirmation cards. I love it. I love it. It's gorgeous. So this card is seduction. It also to me means attraction. And I want you to, your power is to attract people to you this month, right? It's already amplified. So it's just for you to acknowledge it. I, I would say to dress up and really feel sexy this month, portray how you want to feel what you want others to see you as, right? And look how you want to act. So if you don't feel powerful, sexy, and confident yet, you know, start dressing up, playing the part, then you really will be. You already are charismatic, beautiful, and powerful. And when you show it in that way on the outside, when you walk it, when you talk it, then you can really embody it. And you will attract you will be able to attract the things that you want and you will be able to create change. And this is, and remember the other card that we're talking about, that you have everything stuck in your mind, stuck on the inside. So maybe playing dress up and showing your sexy side on the outside will really bring everything into the physical realm again, right? So this physical change can give you a confident boost and everybody has their unique style. There's no wrong way to be sexy. If you feel sexy wearing a unicorn onesie, then you feel sexy, then wear a damn unicorn you know, onesie. It's really how you feel. So show others your style and your energy. So I just want you to be you, right? Not the internet's or the magazine's definition of sexy. I want you to show, show what you think is sexy. All right, and the last card I'm going to pull for you is, the, is from the Rebel deck. So this deck is really fun and really funny. Uh, there might be some swearing in it, but this is a Rebel deck. So it is an extra message, a message for you from your unicorns on what action for a Taurus to take this month? What action should the Taurus take this month, right? And let's see what we have for you. Okay. So, huh, okay. It's like a wake up. So whatever the hell is happening with you, it's telling you that it's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. So take responsibility for your action. And it says, you are a grown ass adult stop blaming others for your shit, right? So start owning that power, start owning your life and know that you control it. Like whatever happens is because of the choices that you make. Don't be the victim because a victim is not sexy at all. All right. So if you guys love this video, if you resonated with it, if things are already coming true for some of you that are very sensitive, please comment below and let me know. I love the confirmation. I love reading what you guys tell me. And I do take time to reply to everybody. And if you guys have any questions, please, um, please send me the questions and I will definitely answer it. So that's it for this Taurus Unicorn Asher reading for the month of October. And I hope you guys liked it. I will see you soon in my next videos that I will be sprinkling magic around or maybe in the November reading. Thank you so much for joining me and be sure again to subscribe so that I can connect with you. And I will see you next time. Bye, Unicorn.